It's time to start daily vlogging again. It's time to start making more content again. It's time to be creative again. It's time to travel again. It's time to be on adventures again. It's time to be unconventionally myself again. The self-improvement project, the endless self-improvement project is finished. I've done enough self-improvement. I realized recently that if I'm constantly trying to improve myself, I'm pretty much exclusively focusing on the parts of me that aren't good enough. And so actually the parts of me that aren't good enough, that literally just want to be loved and integrated, I'm actually rejecting them. And I realized that I'm rejecting my authentic self. And I've realized that for the last six years, since my motorcycle accident and since burning my whole mini YouTube empire to the ground, I hated that version of myself so much for creating all of this chaos and embarrassment that I've since then been just working hard to completely reject that version of myself and become somebody else. Now, I've done a lot of work. I've healed a lot of stuff. I understand myself a lot more. I'm tapped into like authentic self-confidence. And I'm super interested still in the mechanics of the mind, asking questions like, who am I? And where, what's the nature of reality? And I'm on this spiritual path. And yet I'm realizing back then when I was making those videos and I was on adventures and I was creating and I was filming stuff and I was so confident, that was me. Of course you might think, of course that was you. But for me, over this last six years, since everything came crashing down, I really had no idea who I was and so I went searching for who I was. And I discovered a bunch of parts of me that I definitely am not. I've learned a lot about myself and it seems like the final piece that I'm learning right now is that my authentic, the authentic Ben is an artist, is creative, is unconventional, loves freedom more than anything else, loves adventure, loves to take risks, does not fit into any kind of box. And so I've been creating all these other boxes and trying to fit myself into all these other versions of who I could be as a human being based upon other people's formulas for a happy life. I'd see a happy man with a beautiful family and who's like an incredible coach and I'd be like right he's got the thing that I want to experience which is safety happiness money family and a sense of purpose and meaning and to be of service in this world so I'm going to become a coach I'm going to become a dad I'm going to settle down and root down and I'm going to become like him that ain't me though so of course it hasn't worked because again I'm rejecting who I actually am trying to become somebody that I think I should be run out of ideas so now it's time to prioritize freedom creativity adventure making life big and exciting again and sharing it plus bonus now insights around the human experience around spiritual insights around understanding our mind around genuine self-confidence instead of ego self-confidence insights around how to connect more deeply with yourself and with this present moment so when i'm standing in front of a giant waterfall in iceland i'm not only looking at it through my camera trying to take 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 as much as i can for my own profit and benefit but to also bring my presence and my gratitude and to see the waterfall as god as the universe expressing itself in its infinite beauty. Wow, look at where we are. And of course we did that to a certain degree, but mostly it was like ugh, just so obsessively taking photos and making films like in order to get something instead of fully being present with the beauty of nature to fully deeply appreciate it and know that when I create a beautiful film, all I'm doing really is filming it. The reason the film is beautiful is because nature is beautiful. It's because Earth is beautiful, not because Ben Brown made a beautiful film. I just filmed it and edited it. The real beauty isn't the film, it's what I've managed to capture. So to humble myself, go travel, connect with people, connect with the land, 
of these different beautiful and the culture and the history basically i've connected with myself on a deeper level so i now have the capacity to connect with other people and earth and land and moments on a deep on a more deeper level bringing more significance and meaning to them and it's the significance and meaning that i was missing i was like i don't know why i'm doing any of this what am i doing this for and it's because i lacked reverence and gratitude and humility and I feel like I've worked on those so now will you join me in this next chapter again of my life the the way I can most be of service to you and to the world is to be myself and I'm weird and I like unconventional shit and I'm not everybody's cup of tea in fact I trigger the shit out of most people so I'm just gonna go ahead and be myself but I need your help I need your support I need you to hit like on my videos because we're going to make the algorithm our friend as a community. Relaunch this whole adventure YouTube situation by simply liking my videos, clicking on them when they come up in your subscription feed, hitting the notification bell so that bling, leaving a little comment if you really feel like it. My goal, I remember mentioning this like a year or more ago where I was like, my goal is to buy a van. I want to have a camper van so I can go exploring the UK and Europe. That is the absolute dream, again, to have that level of freedom. So if you feel like you want to support me, you feel like buying a print or even getting in contact with me about doing some coaching work, those are the things that can help support me. In the meantime, your attention is not taken for granted. It is my intention to continue delivering the best kind of content that I possibly can. Oh, the outro. Remember to work smart, be kind to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys. Goodbye.